Hey kids, how many times can you find the word thanks in this puzzle? Hmm, can you do this? Try a little harder. Maybe you should take a closer look. You can do better than that. Hmm, time slowly running out. We only have five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Find out the answers at the end of this show. Eagles don't fly, they soar, the adventures of Billy Big Toes, by best-selling author Bo Sanchez, his first children's book ever, and the latest release from Shepherd's Voice Publication. Eagles Don't Fly, They Soar, The Adventures of Billy Big Toes. Grab your copy now. Available at all leading bookstores nationwide. Hi kids, my name is Kuya Pao. And I'm here to tell you the story, Eagles Don't Fly, They Soar, The Adventures of Billy Big Toes. Written by Bo Sanchez. So, are you ready? Here we go. Chapter 1 The Crime of the Clumsy Thief It was so hot that day, you could fry an egg on a rock. You would not eat it, of course, unless you like dirt and little slimy insects with your fried eggs. <laughs> but just to let you know, it was a really scorching day. And yes, this story is about eggs. Well, at least it starts with them. For up on a high cliff towering above other cliffs, there was a huge eagle that did not feel the blistering heat at all. Oh, she was so beautiful. Her name was Beth, a majestic bird with a dazzling white crown and brilliant blue feathers for her wings. If you saw her, you'd say she was the most beautiful eagle in the world. And you know why she did not feel the heat? Nope, she did not have an air-conditioned nest. It was because Beth was more excited about a really cool thing beneath her. Her egg was about to hatch! And Mommy Eagle could not wait to see her little baby for the very first time. But behind a nearby cave, an enemy was lurking. A hungry fox named Sly was also waiting for the eaglet to appear. Yum yum! He smacked his lips. I can already hear those tiny bones crunching in my mouth. Boy, this fox was devious. If you saw him, you would think he was a harmless little guy who would not even swat a fly. Actually, he would eat them when he was really, really hungry, but only after he tortures them, pulling their legs one by one. He was a smallish, furry creature that seemed friendly enough. In fact, if you saw him, You'd be tempted to say, Ah, oh, isn't he cute? But make no mistake. In reality, he had a really black heart. 
because he only thought of himself. And if given a chance, he'd steal, kill, and destroy. And that was what happened on that fateful day. Beth looked around her nest and saw no one. Thinking her egg was safe, she took off to search for food for her coming baby. Big mistake, because Sly saw his chance. He left his cave, rushed to the nest, and grabbed the large egg. Man, it was heavier than he thought. This is going to be a big meal, he congratulated himself. Carrying the egg in front of him with both hands, he raced down the mountain slope on breakneck speed. But he was going too fast. His knees buckled underneath him, and wow! Sly tumbled like a soccer ball down the hilly path. My lodge! He screamed as the egg slipped from his hand, and he could only watch as his precious cargo fell down the side of the mountain, plummeting a hundred meters below. The egg crashed through the trees, their many leaves cushioning its fall. Miraculously, the shell did not break. It bounced on the lowest twig of a tree and gently rolled on the soft hay of a chicken nest. Do you believe in angels? Picture one catching the egg here. Yes! Right beside three other eggs ready to hatch. Well, that's all we have for today. Tune in next time as we continue the story of Eagles Don't Fly, They Soar, The Adventures of Billy Big Toes. Once again, my name is Kuya Pao. See you next week! Bye! Bible Character of the Week David David was a man after God's own heart. When he was a young man, he looked after sheep. One day, he heard that there would be a reward given to anyone who would be able to defeat the giant enemy, Goliath. And when the time for battle came, with God on his side, David took a stone and shot it with his sling, hit Goliath in the forehead, and in an instant, the giant was down. And so this boy, David, became king of Israel because he trusted God in everything he did. Time for another Bible Quiz! Bible Quiz! What did David use to defeat Goliath? Letter A, bow and arrow. Letter B, super punch. Letter C, slingshot. Letter D, laser gun. The correct answer is C, slingshot.